And now the Octophone Guitar Company is proud to present Doc Bochenek in concert featuring his story, The Rose Gift. And now the Octophone Story Hour, Doc, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Doc Bochenek and I'd like to do The Rose Gift story for you. As our story opens, I am in my job working six days a week. And I have an inside office that has no windows, cement walls and cement floors. So the day goes by and I hardly even notice it until I get my paycheck. But then I know the week is done. Not a way to go. So one day I decide that I'm going to have to go for a walk. So on a Saturday morning, I step outside my apartment. And I look to the left, and all I see is cement streets and cement sidewalks. And to the right, more of the same. And then I realize that I'm going to have to go for a drive. So I get into my car and I go for the drive outside the city and I head towards the hills, towards the mountains. And I can see the city in my rearview mirror fading away. Higher and higher I drive, farther and farther I go. Till I'm where all the forests are. In the distance I see another forest approaching. And as I drive closer, I realize that I can't just keep driving away. So I decide that this one, I'll stop and take a look. So as I pull over, park my car and make sure it's safe, then I head into the forest. I'm walking, walking, farther into the forest, and in the distance I see this bright light. And as I get closer, I see it's an opening, like a forest glen. As I approach this opening, I see there's tall grass growing in the center, and the wind is blowing through the trees, moving the leaves of the tall grass green. The glass the grass blades are shimmering in the wind. hear the wind blowing through the trees ever so gently. And in the distance I see this burst of color. And as I get closer, I see it's a wild rose bush. And I think, how strange there would be a wild rose bush way out here and in the middle of this forest. But you see, the rose bush was there for a lot longer, and here I am. Really, it's strange that I am the one who's visiting. Then I get closer to the rose bush and I see that there's about a hundred roses. There are roses in bud form, roses in bloom, roses with all the petals falling to the ground all around. And I wonder if I were to pick one. Parts of my life that are in bud form and parts of it in blue. Some of the petals falling to the ground all around. So 
I choose one that is fully in bloom? Missing a few petals. Now I have a dilemma. If I were to take this rose and take it home, I would shorten its life. But what if I gave it purpose? What if I gave it destiny? So all the other hundred roses would be there and this one would go for a journey. knew it would be hard to tell people what this rose looked like. The only way to be really sure that they saw it was to see it. So I decided to take the rose. But in exchange, I had an apple in my pocket. So I put it down at the base of the rose bush. I drove home and now I was ready for my walk, you see. For I had the rose in my hand. So we have that. Rose in one hand, walking away. I walked so far that I walked all the way to the park. And into the park I, I went.
times, even if you remember this story, it's a rose. So for all the caregivers, all the doctors and nurses, and for all the people that are in their jobs taking care of each of us in their own way, the stores, give service to each other, we're really passing on the rose gift, aren't we? And who knows, just maybe one time, someone will find you and say, Thank mm -hmm. you.